My goal for today's video is to do this without any help. If you guys want to see me do a video where I make the most expensive computer, 15,000 likes on this video, please lord, yes! What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. About a month ago, we attempted to build a PC using only parts purchased from Wish. Unfortunately, a few of them didn't come in, so we did have to supplement our Wish parts with a couple parts from Amazon. It didn't exactly go to plan, took me a lot longer than expected, and ultimately didn't really work. So we decided that Wish is probably not the best spot to be purchasing your PC parts. So if not Wish, where should we be going? Now, I also want to remind you guys that was my first time ever building a computer and that made it a little bit more difficult. So today we are buying all of our parts off Amazon. We're spending around the same amount of money that we spent on our Wish PC, $800. And we are going to be seeing how this computer compares both in ease of building because the last one was not easy, okay? It took me way longer than I care to admit. And in terms of performance, that should be pretty easy. As long as it works, it will perform better than the other one because the graphics card we got just didn't really work. But we had a whole bunch of issues with it, so ultimately, it, uh, we well, we also still need a new PC. So hopefully, this one will work a little bit better. Okay, so we've got all of our PC parts here today. I'm pretty sure all of our PC parts. Hopefully, Jay actually have me in the office right now because he's doing some B-roll after I finish this for another video. And guess what he's sitting in? A wheelchair, because he's old. Let's see what we have today. So we've got our fans here, Arctic P12 PWM, whatever that means. Our SSD drive, it's Torosis, and it is, I don't even remember. I ordered all this a few weeks ago and I forgot now. Thermal Take Smart Series Power Supply. This one, we don't have to press the little red switch to switch it from 240 to 120 volts. We've got our Hyper 212 Evo, which is, I believe, the cooler or heat sink or whatever they call it for our CPU. Because we didn't get a Ryzen this time, it didn't come with it, so we had to buy it separately. And our CPU, we decided to go with the Intel Core i3. Our motherboard, interestingly enough, was kind of mosh by the time we got it. So I'm slightly concerned about that. I think it's a micro motherboard. It's a micro ATX motherboard. I knew it was micro something, okay? It's still gonna be cringe for all you pros out there, all right? We were trying to save money, so we got the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse. I think it was like 50 bucks for both. Last but not least, a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte. First things first. Oh, I'm supposed to plug in my power supply so that I can ground myself. That's the first step. I'm learning! Also, don't worry, guys. I, wait. I was just gonna say, I, I saw your comments about the dual channel RAM and how you have to have them separated. And then I realized I don't have the RAM. We're gonna check this. My goal for today's video is to do this without any help. I'm not gonna watch any videos. I'm not going to call any friends. I'm just gonna try and do it on my own. And that ultimately may be my downfall, but I figure it's, it'll help me with learning. Before we get into the meat of this PC build, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta thank our sponsor for today's video, Surfshark, for helping keep the lights on, helping us pay our bills, and allowing us to buy things like this. This isn't even for this video, but this is the type of things that Surfshark is enabling us to do. It'll be a house. So while I tell you about Surfshark, I'm gonna be sitting in front of this pile of awesome video that's coming shortly to accentuate the importance of using Surfshark if you need a VPN. To put it simply, we protect things that are important to us, right? If you ride a bike, you wear a house. Okay, maybe you don't wear a helmet. But if you put your kids on a bike, they wear a helmet, right? And if you're surfing the internet, you should be wearing an internet helmet. And that's what a VPN is. It's essentially like a helmet for your data so that nobody can, maybe not a helmet, more like a safe. What I'm trying to say is it protects your data from unwanted people seeing it. Now let's say you're not a safety person. You don't like wearing a helmet when you bike, but you still got a sick bike because it makes biking better, right? Well, that's what Surfshark does for the internet as well. It makes it better. Your entire digital experience can be improved. Firstly, you ever run into content restrictions? You're trying to watch Netflix, you're trying to watch YouTube videos or whatever it is, and it says it's not available in your country. Well, well, guess what? You just say you're not in your country using your VPN and it's available. So if you've completely consumed all your Netflix content, well, guess what? You might have access to a whole bunch more using Surfshark. So you can use Surfshark on a variety of devices to protect yourself and improve your digital experience, including both your phone and your laptop. And honestly, I'm just scratching the surface. There's a ton more that you can do using Surfshark and not to mention they're supporting the channel so that I can keep making amazing content for you guys. And that's gotta count for something, right? Come on. And to top it all off, I got a great deal for you guys right now. Firstly, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't like the service, you get your money back. And secondly, I'm giving you guys 85% plus 
three months free when you use my code, it's your boy. So you know you're getting the best deal on the market. So if you wanna get Surfshark VPN, protect yourself, improve your digital experience and support the channel, be sure to check out the link down below in the description and use my code, it's your boy for 85% off. And with that being said, let's get back to building the computer that we are going to protect using Surfshark when we're hopefully done, if I can do it properly this time. All righty, our graphics card, the Radeon RX 570, gaming certified, not a RAM. We do have some extra RAM in the office, so we can try and use that. Wait, there's only two RAM slots. How does that work? Step one, grounding mechanism prepared. Motherboard, it is smaller than the last one. That might make things harder or easier. I don't know. Still haven't done this very regularly, second time. I think the first step is attaching our CPU. We're just gonna, we're winging it. Sometimes that's how you gotta learn. You know how I learned how to swim? My dad threw me in the water, then I started swimming. Fun fact, completely false story. My dad, <laughs> my, he put me, in, put me in really loving swimming lessons. I learned very calmly and I was never stressed out. But you know what? There's other ways to learn too. I'm going the uh, old fashioned way. Wait, what the hell? This does come with a heat sink. Why did I buy this? Oh, this one looks like dookie though. Is it so, this looks like shit. Okay, go off CPD. Okay, this one's different. Oh, I push it down, pull it out. Boom! I remember! It says to remove this. Okay. Okay, now we have our actual CPU. The gold triangle goes into the corner. Ah, there we go. Perfect fit. CPU in place. I think that was the second step. I think, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Okay, when in doubt, ground. I don't want to blow anything up. I don't want to ruin this. So I'm gonna just keep grounding and you guys can keep commenting. Comment away. Talk about how stupid I am. That's fine. Why did I buy this? Is that, am I tripping? No. Huh? Okay, you know what? For now, just to try and get the computer together, we're gonna use this one. Cause this one feels less foreign to me. I feel like I remember watching the Linus Tech Tips video and you have to like take this apart and then like, I don't even know what. I think you take this, you put this on there and then you put this on top, but like this won't fit. It's like the whole goddamn thing. Did you guys see this? Holy hell, holy hell. This isn't fair. I thought I was just gonna be trying to redo what I did last time. This is a whole nother, a whole nother problem. I can't do this without research. My goal for today's video is to do this without any help, any help, any help. I'm doing research, okay? I'm buying the swimming lessons. I'm gonna learn how to do this because this is just a recipe for disaster. Okay guys, so I think I figured this out and I'll be honest, it, I didn't do it on my own, okay? I found a random tutorial online. We've got the bracket secured on the back and I believe we don't actually put this on the way I initially thought, you just put it like so. And then it fits, it makes so much more sense this way. Um, basically, I've gotta put the thermal compound on and then attach that using all the varieties of different things that they've given us. To say I'm nervous to put the thermal compound on would be an understatement because last time I didn't have to do it. I did see how Linus did it and we are going to do our best attempt to emulate his instructions and see how it turns out. Been watching a lot of Grey's Anatomy lately. I basically feel like a surgeon right now, okay? Here we go, folks. A nice little X and I have no idea if that's good or not. I have no idea, but that's what we're gonna rock with. Here goes nothing, folks. I really, this is, I should probably not be doing this. True. I'm nervous. Okay, we're gonna try and screw this in. This on the last one is what almost made me lose my mind. So I uh, removed the fan so that I could get a better angle on this screw here and I screwed it in on this side, but now it's so far away. I feel like I'm not supposed to have to put this much pressure into it. This doesn't make sense. Okay, folks, we managed to get this on. I'm pretty sure it's on properly. I really hope it's on properly. I did that last night and then I had to head home to do some other stuff. So it's officially day two now. And one of the staff had to come in to do a little bit of a cleanup here and they, uh, they brought us something. And I have no idea what it is. This is from Jenny and it says, I found something. So we're gonna interrupt our building for a little unboxing. I thought you might like this since we will need a couple for a future video. I genuinely have no idea what this is. You guys know me, any chance to unbox something is a good day. By the way, guys, we're gonna be doing a fan curated mystery box. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out the Reddit and post in the Reddit any items you guys want me to unbox. And then we're gonna buy those. Well, I won't buy them because I won't know what they are. And then we're gonna unbox them for a fan created mystery box. So let's see what we got here. Top secret idea. <laughs> 
This is a Tesla doorstop. It's the top of a Cybertruck. So a 3D printed Cybertruck doorstop vibe. Maybe a hint at a video that had to be postponed because of everything that's going on, but we're still working on. Okay, audio is, uh, that audio probably wasn't great. Sorry about that. So it should be better now. We managed to get this set up, so we are good to go in that regards. It's time to move on to the next step, which would be a lot easier if I remembered what the next step is. I just remembered this and then I forget. And I feel like we could add in the RAM, right? Like, why not? Like I said before, no issues with dual channel because there are only two options because this is a micro board. But I did see you guys last time. And if you guys see me making mistakes again, please let me know. I know I'm new to this and I am trying to learn. So it was actually very helpful to get some of your comments. Some, you know, you guys could be a little nicer sometimes. I'm a first time PC builder, but it's okay. It, it doesn't offend me at all. Not even, not even a little bit. <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, let's put this in. We got one in. Okay, we got our RAM installed. That went a lot smoother than everything else so far today. Now we've got our SSD. I think the next step, I put the graphics card in, I plug the power supply in, I plug this into a monitor and we see if it's turning on before we actually put it into the case. I believe I might be missing steps. Let's go ahead and unbox our graphics card at least because we do have to put it in at some point. For all the pros out there, if there was better options for parts for this build, let me know what you guys think. What should I have got next time? How do you make decisions on what parts to get. I basically went to PC Parts Picker, picked their like $750 build, and then searched online for a build for a video editing PC, and they were almost identical already, so I just kind of blended the two together. That's how I did it. Here is our graphics card, which hopefully will work a little bit better than our last one. I'm sure it will. Oh, we do also have to plug this in. It would go to CPU fan. Okay, CPU fan's plugged in. Now we're going to graphics card. Please go smoothly. I'm down for something to go smoothly. Pretty sure. Nashy. The next step for me in my learning of PC building and all that goes into it, I think is really starting to understand parts. I've kind of, I kind of figured out how to put a PC together, I think. The thing I really don't understand is like, what's better? Why is it better? How does all that work? And I really wanna learn that next. Anyways, we've got our graphics card here and uh, insert it just like so. Pop the pin back. Why don't you go in? I think it's in. Okay, we got the graphics card in. We need the cable. We're gonna plug the cable in to the board. I think for the most part, we have our motherboard constructed, unless I'm missing something obvious, which is very possible. Could be a thing. I am missing something very obvious. I believe our next step is to plug this in and turn it on. If I'm not missing anything, this might be easier than I expected. I don't think I have to install the hard drive right away. Pretty sure I'll do that afterwards. Okay, so I figured out I made a mistake. I got the wrong motherboard. Uh, they look very similar, just a slight difference. And like I said, I'm, I'm still learning. So it does not have an SSD input, but I bought an adapter. It cost $9 and it's gonna give us that. And in the long run, it, it didn't really affect too much because we're not gonna be putting in any like audio cards or anything like that. So we should be fine, but you live and you learn. And that's what I'm doing today, okay? We got everything back in. We, we added the hard drive and it is time. Well, it's almost time to test it out, but we've got a plug in all the power supply parts, and then we're gonna test turn it on before we actually put it into the case. So let's get plugging in. Okay, that's not anyways. This is so much easier <laughs> than the first time I did it. Got one, now we need to plug one into the hard drive. Okay, hard drive now has power, motherboard has power. Last, but certainly not least, the graphics card. I think that's correct. The only thing I'm not certain about is whether I have to plug in both of these inputs from the graphics card, but they're there and there's, it, I, I think it makes sense that I would. So I'm gonna just try it like that first. And now it is time to fire this bad boy up and uh, see if we can get into the BIOS. Okay, folks, it appears we have a dud power supply. Very, very rare, and of course, would happen to me. I tried a variety of different things. It won't turn on at all. This is the Smart 500 Watt Thermal Take. It was like a really cheap option on Amazon. That's why we went with it. And uh, apparently, we paid the price because it doesn't work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I would still have that belief that it's a possibility because I am new to this, and maybe I messed something up. But it seems pretty straightforward. You know, you plug it into a outlet, and you turn it on. I don't know how I could mess that up. Up, but it's possible that I did. So maybe you guys know in the comment section. So it looks like we're gonna have to supplement our Amazon PC build with a part from our Wish PC build, which is only fitting considering half the parts in our Wish PC build did end up being from Amazon anyways. And we are going to attempt to buy another power supply that is around the same price from Canada Computers here if we can. So I'm gonna take this apart and we are really starting to run out of space here. Dud power supply is removed. And now comes the fun part of trying to take apart this PC and get the power supply.
fly out of this one. Oh God, I hate my life right now. Come to Papa. Honestly, this wasn't as hard as I was expecting it to be. Kind of relieved about that. Our fresh new power supply. Time for attempt number two. Please, 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 please work. What is going on? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna accept. I'm not a PC builder at this point. I don't know what to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we spent a lot of time troubleshooting and trying to figure out what the issue is. It seems that both of our power supplies actually work. So I know I started to just destroy this power supply, but it, I think it works. So it's not actually the power supply. It seems that it's the motherboard, which kind of makes sense. If you guys remember at the beginning of the video, it came in this box. So it was taped all over the place. It obviously went through some damage. It was even taped on the inside. Either it was a return or they broke it or both and uh, that's what we ended up with So I'm thinking we got screwed there and it's we're gonna have to return the motherboard now Unfortunately that leaves us in a bit of predicament because I need a motherboard and I need to build a PC now because we're filming this video Now obviously we have a problem on our hands because we have a bunch of potentially working parts And we need to build a PC right now and do I want to cry? Yeah a little bit But as you guys know my favorite saying when life gives you lemons you cry that's what I do and and uh, I'm gonna just take a minute, okay? Okay, now that I've taken some time to gather myself and move past the frustration that seems to keep coming every single time I try and build a PC, third time's a charm. You know what, I'm also deciding I'm not gonna do these budget PCs anymore, okay? It's just not, it's not for me. $79 motherboard sounds great, but no. I'm moving past budget computers. And if you guys wanna see me do a video where I make the most expensive computer I can possibly get my hands on, then smash a like button for that one. Cause the third time I'm spending money, I'm doing it right. And I am going to make this as easy as possible because I feel like at this point, I have enough knowledge that I could do this pretty quickly if everything just worked. So if you guys wanna see me do a video where I buy the most expensive gaming computer parts, put it together and make the best gaming PC I possibly can, 15,000 likes on this video. We'll be back with that in another month when I've recovered from the stress of trying to make this second PC. But with all that being said, despite the fact that when I say when life gives you lemons, you just, you cry, that's what you do. I have figured out a way to make lemonade. So for our Wish PC, a bunch of the parts that we used were actually from Amazon because the Wish parts didn't come in. We do have some excess Amazon pieces that we can take from that computer, use them in combination with these parts to make a complete Amazon build PC. It'll be slightly more expensive because the motherboard we got was about 70 bucks more around there. But at this point, it's just the way it is. And now we're gonna end up doing what I probably was gonna do after this video anyways, and just make the best PC with all of the parts that we have from both of those attempted builds since neither of them was successful. And I swear it wasn't just me, okay? I probably am the common denominator in the two, but I swear the parts were messed up, okay? It wasn't me, but it is time. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired. We are building a legit computer that is going to function from this point moving forward. So what we're gonna be doing is taking out all the wish parts that we had in that PC, which was the RAM, power supply, the fans, the case, the graphics card. And we are gonna be replacing those with the Amazon pieces that we bought today. And what we're gonna be using from that build is the CPU and the motherboard. And since we did end up buying an adapter for our M.2 because this motherboard couldn't use it and we don't need that on our other motherboard, we're gonna have two M.2s just, just to power it up a little bit. So yes, this might not be a budget computer. Still, It's still not a very expensive computer. And you know what? When life gives you lemons, you cry. Like I, you know. You know what, no, you make lemonade and today we're gonna make lemonade. All right, so we've got our motherboard. This one was a little more expensive. I think it was $170 or $165. Fortunately, I won't make the same mistake with the dual channel uh, memory. Overall, it's just obviously a bigger motherboard. It's not a micro. I think I can just go straight into the graphics card. Okay. Graphics card is in. Let's see how fast I can build this now. Okay, watch this. What this is gonna be record setting speed. And I'm putting it the wrong way already. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ram in. Already like halfway done. Did you see how fast that was? Hard drives plugged in. Oh yes. Now we're gonna add in our other M.2. All right, so we've got both of our M.2s in. Next thing is plug it in and see if it works. I need it, this one. <laughs> it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. It has to work. Moment of truth. This is my third, essentially this is my third computer build. It took me 15 minutes to put this one together. This is how fast it can be if things just work. They are gonna work right now. Light, yes, light, that's a good start. Nothing else is turning on though. This monitor on? What now, what now, what now, what now, what now? Losing his mind. This is what this is supposed this is all the parts that did work. Okay, one second, more troubleshooting. 
Okay, I forgot. It might help if we connect this to the case. So now is the time to take a look at our case. Now our wish case wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It did the job, it worked fine. Price-wise, it was pretty cheap. There are a few issues with it. One, it didn't come with any screws. So it was a huge pain to put it together. And the case inputs, the bar that it's all attached to would pop out all the time. This case, we shouldn't have any of those issues. Aha! Ooh, it's kinda, it's kinda. Sexy. You know what guys, for me, there hasn't been much satisfaction in this video so far. At least I get to peel some plastic off something. Ah, nothing beats it, really. We're gonna have to put our motherboard inside our case. We've got the motherboard into the case. Now we're putting the graphics card back in. Okay, graphics card is in. Now it is time to plug in everything again. Okay, we've got the power supply in the back here. Now we've gotta route all of our cores through for some nice clean cable management. There we go. Oh, that's clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it better work. That's all I gotta say. Please smash the like button right now. I know, I know it's superstitious and it technically it's already happened, but I just need the moral support, okay? This is it for all the marbles. There we go. I think, please Lord, yes! Feels so good, baby, feels so good. Okay, we've got our two RAM sticks showing up, we're good. CPU fan is spinning, 1090 RPM, beautiful. And our six core processor is functional. Everything appears to be good to go. I'm gonna actually like seal this all up, get it ready to rumble, and then we're going to actually test out our brand new Amazon computer. And yes, we are gonna compare it to the Wish computer, but it's not much of a comparison because the Wish computer didn't work. So, you know, we're already off to a pretty good start. Still more stuff for us to do, but this is really what you're all here for. It's time to peel the plastic off. Oh, there we go, baby. That's the money shot. That's the money shot. Bam, come on, smash the like button. All right, folks, computer set up. We're at Brady's desk right now. We installed Windows. It's working. The screen is actually, look, it's going all the way to the edge, unlike the Wish PC. So it's already off to a great start. And I busted out the giant monitor. I think it's 32 inch curved monitor that we got from that Wheel of Wish video. And it just looks amazing. I have to say, Brady, if I was you, I'd be excited to come back to work. And of course, the main test we got to do, even though this is primarily an editing computer, I'm not going to edit. That's just, that's not very fun for you guys to watch. What I am going to do is test out a video game. We've got Valorant right here. I'm going to sign in and we'll see what it looks like. Please work. Come on. You don't have speakers. I didn't think about that. Oh, baby, it works, I think. Let's, let's go. Bang, bang. It works. I was I was genuinely starting to get worried if I'd ever be able to build a computer successfully and we finally did it ladies and gentlemen So please smash the like button Brady. I hope you're excited to get back to work, buddy Jay is probably editing this cheese that I gave Brady the big monitor But guess what you guys can fight it out to the death when you get into the office. I'm just kidding that it was a joke <laughs> You can fight a nerf battle They'll have a nerf battle and see who gets to use the big monitor now I guess the whole point of this video was to compare a Amazon PC to a wish PC and obviously I think we all expected the Amazon PC to do better and it did in a lot of ways but we did run into a few issues when going with a budget PC regardless and I'm sure there were solutions but for me as a beginner builder I had no idea what those solutions were but for the parts that we can compare obviously the AMD Ryzen that we got from Wish not we never even tried it out but it's um I don't I don't have faith in it it was like used and it was more expensive than what you would get on Amazon the CPUs that we got from Amazon were fine obviously they worked out well while the Red Dragon was a little bit more expensive than our wish peripherals honestly i would say this is the only area that i would potentially buy wish parts over amazon parts and honestly i wouldn't have a problem with using the wish keyboard over this one the mouse i would say the mouse is a little bit better than the wish mouse the biggest thing and the biggest difference was the case. So while the Wish case was decent, it looked all right, and it was a little bit cheaper than our Amazon case, the Amazon Corsair case, which was honestly really cheap. It's not anything spectacular, but it looks solid. The biggest thing was how easy it was to build this computer once we got the parts working. Even though we had issues with both builds, when we were ready to put it together, this took a fraction of the time because it came with the necessary screws. The case itself is just so much easier to use and put everything in. It's got proper slots for the hard 
hard drive and power supply and just fit everything so much better. Whereas with the Wish case, it didn't come with screws. It didn't come with proper cable management and the top uh, USB insert section would pop out all the time. So that for me as a beginner builder was easily the biggest difference that I noticed when it came to putting these two computers together. But from my experience as a beginner builder, I would recommend one, doing more research and two, getting parts that are a little bit more expensive because they're probably gonna be a lot easier for you to put together. Probably watch a few other people before you make any official decisions. But like I said earlier in the video, this still was a bit of a difficult build for me. I am learning. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at this and I know a lot of you are cringing, okay? I get that. But we're documenting the process of becoming a proper PC building guru right now, okay? This is step one. Give me another six years and I'll probably be as good as you guys, okay? Just be patient with me. But if you want this journey to continue and for the next build, we go a little bit harder when we build something Thing a little more expensive and by a little more I mean a lot more expensive be sure to smash the like button if we can get over 15,000 likes on this video we'll keep the PC builds coming for you guys as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time toodles